When everybody's living on windmills, ain't nobody worried about the wind chill. Cause to keep us warm, we got thieves and thorns and at least one of How's it going everybody? Wooly Man with Gaming here back with another video and today I'm gonna be showing off my collectibles and my new setup that I just put together yesterday. I got a new desk recently and I will show that off, show some of my collectibles off and just a couple of different things that I think are interesting and that are cool about my room. So I hope you guys enjoy this Wooly Life vlog and let's get started. So the first thing I want to show off is a prop that I made like last year or something and I just I've never shown it off anywhere just because of what it is but just to keep in mind this is a prop it's not there's nothing real about it it's made out of PVC pipe a clock and some duct tape and wires so but here it is you guys can see it this is basically just a um, cartoonish time bomb type thing that I made in about a day I made it with my grandpa just for fun and I think it came out really really well I mean it looks awesome the way that the clock and the wiring the way it's just wrapped around it and just all these different colored wires up here it looks so good as like a cartoonish prop and this is actually one of the first props that I ever took a lot of time out and just built completely from scratch other things I've built have been out of things that I've already owned like a knife or a 3d printed such as my 35% finished Pip-Boy, but <laughs> I really like this and I hope you guys like it as well. Um, maybe I'll do a build video on it if you guys are interested, so uh, just let me know. So the next thing that I wanted to show off, it's not really that good of a prop, but I really like it and I really love the Mad Max universe. And this is a Dinky D dog food can. And it, it's really cool, I mean it's, it doesn't wrap all the way around, but I think it looks pretty good. Um, I'll probably make another one of these that actually wraps all the way around and looks way better but I really like this I think it looks awesome and I'm a huge fan of the Mad Max universe and to have something from it is really awesome so let's get into my pops um, I'm not gonna go through every single pop that I have but I am going to go through the ones that mean the most to me and the ones that I like the most the ones that are really special so this was actually the this was the first pop I ever got it's uh, Luke Skywalker when he was on Hoth and it, it comes with a little stand. I think you can remove them. Yeah, you can remove them. It's so dusty, but um, it's. I wouldn't say it's my favorite, but it has a very special place in my heart because I. This is the one that started it all. I mean, this is the one that started my whole collection. So, I also got when I got that one. I got the uh, Wampa, which I think is pretty cool. It's one of the. It's the largest pop I own. It's certainly the heaviest. <laughs> But some of them are going to be bobbleheads, some of them aren't. If you are new to Pops or if you don't know what they are, they are just little figures. Some of them are bobbleheads, some of them are just cars, some of them have different little props in their hands. They're really fun to collect and I've been collecting them for about a year now. So let's get into some more. Um, my Rick from Rick and Morty. It's definitely one of my favorites. I love Rick and Morty. It's my favorite adult animated cartoon, even excluding... Um, like Family Guy and, and stuff. This is my favorite adult cartoon so far. I really love Rick and Morty and when is season three coming? Well, I mean, come on up. guys. So for my next pop is my Joker from the Dark Knight. I think the Joker from the Dark Knight is probably the best version of the Joker. It's my favorite. And I think they did a really good job on the pop. It's creepy. The card is so detailed. Just everything about it looks really, really good, and I've had this one forever, and I really, really love this one, and it pairs great with a lot of my other ones. So, the next one is my, uh, I think this is like the classic Batman. I think it looks really good. It, um, the paint on it has held up really well. I've had it for about a year now, probably. And all the paint has held up really well on all my pops. And I really like the classic Batman because it's just, it's back to the basics. This is what Batman is. No, 
No questions about it. I mean, I think it looks great and I love it. I think it pairs really well with my Joker and I put it on my um, my computer monitor. I put them right in front of my monitor, uh, the Joker and Batman, kind of pairing against each other. I think it looks really good. So of course I couldn't leave out Deadpool. He is a bobblehead. He's more the uh, comic book version of Deadpool than anything else, but I think it looks really good. The paint hasn't held up quite as well on the foot, but it's still in really good condition and I love having it on my shelf and just looking out over my room and just being a complete badass. So this is also one of my favorites. Getting down to my last couple of favorites is uh, Shrek, of course. I mean, who wouldn't want a total memester in their room? Am I right, kids? Shut the fuck up! No. But I really love Shrek. I think it's awesome that they came out with a pop for him. I think it came out a couple months ago. I mean, it hasn't been out for very long, but that's the thing. Um, they're coming out with more and more pops every single month, and it's really exciting to see like Stranger Things pops coming out and just all kinds of different new pops that are coming out, and they're really fun to collect. Like, and they're really cheap too. Depending on where you go, they could be like twelve to eight dollars. They're not that expensive, so that's one of the things that I love about it. So down to my last couple of pops, I have Hannibal Lecter from Silence of the Lambs, and I really love this one. I think the inclusion of the uh, dolly thing is really cool. It makes it look awesome, and it's really just creepy to look at, and I, I love it so much. It I need more horror ones. I have more comic book slash movie related ones than anything else, but I really need more horror ones. Speaking of horror, we have Pennywise the Clown from IT. This is also one of my favorites. I think it looks just terrifying. The model is so good. The paint is held up really well, of course, and it's just, it's scary. I mean, I love having all different kinds in my collection, and I love the scary ones especially. So getting into more of my uh, collectible side, this came in a loot crate, I believe. Uh, this is a little uh, Lich King model from World of Warcraft. And I think it looks awesome. It's so, it's kind of adorable in a way because he's so tiny and cute, but I think it looks awesome and I love having this in my collection. I put it up with my pops and it fits in really well. So now to get into more of the setup area of my room, I am going to show off my desk, which is a glass desk. I got it from like Walmart or something and I waited like a week for it to come in. But I think it looks great. I put it together last night. It took me like three hours because I put it on wrong a bunch of times and Oh man, that was fun. But I think it looks really, really well. Um, it comes with like this little computer area that I really like. And uh, it has a keyboard slide, which I think looks really awesome, works really well. I'm still getting used to it, but I like it. And then I have my gaming mouse uh, pad, which is from iBuyPower, which is the same people who made my uh, computer. And then I have my mouse, which is the Razer Death Adder Chroma which I really enjoyed it. I wish it had a few more settings on it, but uh, let me let me just get in there, show it off a little bit. Look at that mouse. Yeah. <laughs> it won't focus very well, but okay. <laughs> so, and then my keyboard is my, I believe it is the, let me double check. Do, 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 Razor Anasi, that's what it is. I, I always forget the name, but it's an MMO specialized keyboard, even though I don't really play all that many MMOs, or I don't play them that much either. But I think it's a really nice keyboard, lots of co color customization, and lots of different um, settings made for gaming. I mean, you have all these different programmable buttons that you can set to whatever you want. And I think it's a really good mouse. I've had it for, I'd say about a year now, and I've enjoyed it very well. The response time is really good and everything. So for the next item in my setup, I use the uh, Blue Snowball. Um, I really enjoy it so far. It's the Blue Snowball Ice, I believe. And it's a lower quality version of the actual Blue Snowball, I believe. And I've enjoyed it for a while now. I mean, it works pretty well. It picks up my keyboard clicks pretty bad. But that's where this comes in and kind of helps with it. It's a pop filter. I don't know what brand. It's just a random one from like China or something. But it works pretty well. I mean, I've enjoyed using it so far. And the only thing that I've noticed is that the legs give out really easily. Like they, they uh, over time, they will give out really, really bad. But I've kind of gotten over that and I can get down to a lower level and just uh, speak directly into the mic so it sounds really good. So yeah, that's my uh, microphone. That's what I use to record with. So next are my gaming headphones. These are the 
Logitech G930s and I really enjoy them. They have a surround sound setting on them that works really well with music. If you listen to a lot of uh, bassy music like I do, they really come in handy and they sound really good. Um, they have a lot of settings that you can go in and configure. You can set these uh, buttons over here to whatever you want. I have this one, for example, for like space. If I'm watching a video, I can just click it real quick. And it, well, they work really well. They're really well uh, durably built. I mean, the the coloring is amazing. I think the coloring matches really well with like my computer and my monitor and everything and it just works really well. So getting down to the last couple of things in my setup, we have a... Oh... So getting down to the last couple of things in my setup, we have a Seagate, uh, I think it's like 5 terabyte hard drive, which I use to store a lot of my videos, pictures, music, all kinds of content that I use to make videos. And wow, what a bargain this was. I think it was like 150 bucks for 5 terabytes. Like, that's a great deal. I've really enjoyed it so far. It works really, really well. And I've loved using it more than anything in the world. And I've only filled up about like half a terabyte on it. I haven't even filled up everything that I can fill up on. So, definitely recommend um, this brand of hard drive, Seagate. I think they're a really good brand. My grandpa has another one that's like a 2 terabyte super thin um, hard drive, which is awesome. And um, just a little shout out real quick here is Troll House Games. Go ahead and uh, check them out. They're based out of Austin in Texas and they are a great game company. They made a game called The Neighborhood, which I played a little bit of at PAX and I thought it was great. That's why I got that sticker. So um, definitely check them out on their website. So just a quick disclaimer, it is really dusty up here because I haven't dusted in like a, a month or so. So it gets pretty dusty in here. But this is what I like to call my fallout wall. Now, I really love this area of my room. I think it looks awesome. I mean, I have all these Fallout props. There's my almost complete Pip-Boy. I just need something to put in for the phone, basically, like the screen part of it. And I also have a bobblehead, which I got out of a loot crate. Um, it's a Fallout bobblehead, which I've always wanted one of those forever. And then back there in the back is a Nuka-Cola bottle. And then, of course, here is the um, mini nuclear bomb, I forget what it's called, oh my god, mini nuke, I'm so stupid. The mini nuke, which makes a noise whenever you press this button. Which I love that, I got that for Christmas for my parents. Um, it is the Fallout Anthology comes in it, so it's like every Fallout ever up to Fallout New Vegas. And I really enjoyed that. So there are a couple of uh, rounds from, I think, Two of them are from like an AK, and then one's full metal jacket. Then there is a 50 caliber round, and there's a little pilot light, I think is what that is over there. Um, and then there's a mask that I made in art, which I thought looked really cool and kind of fit in with the Fallout universe. And then here is one of my favorite things ever. This is a volt Tech rejection letter, and I went ahead, and this is just regular printer paper, and I stained it with coffee, and then um, I had like a coffee cup with coffee grounds on the bottom, and we put it on there and made it look all old and really, really cool. We burned it, we tore it up, we really went all out on this thing. And I think it came out really well. I couldn't have done that without the help of my dad, who really knew about that kind of stuff. So it, it came out really, really well, and thanks to him. And then the last couple of pops that I have is my Super Mutant, my Lone Wanderer, uh, Hancock, and the Brotherhood of Steel, and then of course the Volt Boy. And then my beautiful Volt Tech lunchbox, which I think looks awesome. And then just a little uh, cannon ball that I made that I guess is kind of um, related to a weapon in Fallout 4. And then of course my beautiful big American flag up there, which looks amazing when you come into my room. You're like, wow, this guy must love his freedom, and boy, you know I do. And then lastly but not least is my couple of posters, my uh, little uh, lanyard there, and then the little, uh, what can we call it, the little thing that comes with Fallout 4, the little picture. And then this I got from HEB, which is just like a pre-order thing for Fallout, which is awesome, and I love having that in my room. And that's about it. 
So guys, that was my setup slash pop collection tour, whatever you want to call it. I had a lot of fun making it, and I hope you guys like my pops that I have and all my different collectibles and my setup and everything. I really feel like I've gotten into my element, and this is how I want everything to be set up, and it looks really good, and all my pops just make the whole room come together. So thank you guys for watching, and I will see you guys in the next video. Later.